Hi everyone, in this video I will do a comparison and installation setup of the WordPress website in Vulture and in Cloudways. You can easily register for free in both platforms. I will set up the, the links down in the description if you want to test out for yourself. You can get some free time here in Cloudways to do the test and with Vulture you can have of hundred to be added to your account so that you can use Vulture. Okay, so I will do the installation uh, firstly with Cloudways, then with Vulture. I will take the time so that we can have also a notion of, of how it really takes time. Probably I will have to do some cuts here in the video, but I will keep running the time counter. Okay, so here I am on the Cloudways panel. Once you are here in your, your platform, you can click here in the Add Server and you can choose among the different platforms. So here we will go to the WordPress if we only want the main WordPress. We will give a name. and a name of the managed server. We can choose here Vulture. We can choose always also the high frequency and select, we will just start this one. Here we can choose which location, both cases, let's use Silicon Valley and then just launch. Okay, so after several minutes, you will have here your server. You have here the public IP. This one, you might need it later. I'll just copy it. And here in applications, we can see here, we have already the WordPress information. So we can just click here and it will ask the username in this case and the password and we already have in the back end wordpress website with their subdomain already set up i will do the change so we can ready go further so once again, I go back here to the server. I will go here to the public IP. I will go to the DNS here in Cloudflare to set up the DNS record. And I will just set up here. For first time, I will just set it as DNS only. Go back here in applications and then domain management will set up here and the application domain has been updated. So you can go here back to access details. And as you can see here, you have the URL already set up. It says your connection is not private. So we will have to set up here the SSL certificate. You just set up the email. and the domain name. So it was already installed successfully. Close it. Then we go back here. We just set up the password domain.
and we have already here the environment. Now, well, I will just install Elementor just to have a main page and do the page speed comparison. And once we have here Elementor, we can just go here to Pages, a new, set it on page. We just set it here to Elementor Canvas. We just add this one, the first, the second one, to make the connection. And we just have like here the installation of the template with some pictures. We'll just set it to home page. Then we have to go to Appearance, Customize to set up as main home page. We will just say that this chart example will be our main home page. Now let's go to GT Metrics to test out. Uh, speed without any optimization, just one plugin. The page took too long to load. No CPU idle period. We have the first few issue. Let's run again. Well, I'm still getting the HTTPS error. Name or service not known. There may be connectivity issue. Oh, let it, let's set up probably that DNS. So let that it's working through Cloudflare. But so far, it took seven ten minutes to set up the server and WordPress. But of course, that. The taking time of the GT metrics test, but that's mainly that time that it it will take to set up here WordPress on Cloudways. If we go back here to the dashboard, we can start building up the websites. And the ones, the plugins that are already installed, mainly it's Breeze, but it's a cache plugin that it's pre-installed by Cloudways. I recommend better WP Rocket for a cache plugin. But this one, well, WP Rocket is also compatible for the Varnish cache. It's it's a feature on, on WP Rocket. So these are more like speed optimization plugins. Okay, so I will further do the WordPress installation on Vulture. Once you are signed up, you just click here in the deploy new server. You can choose among the different servers that they have. High frequency is the one recommended if you're using WooCommerce, Elementor, Divi, or any considered high weight plugins or heavier plugins. Here you can choose among the different locations where they have data centers. So for the reason of this video, I will use again Silicon Valley. You can choose, well, in case of you're developing some other apps, websites, and so on. There are different operating systems here in the marketplace apps. You can choose to 
install directly WordPress, but it will require a little bit more configuration afterwards on the SSL that let's encrypt. Uh, the one that I use, it's Plesk. It's like the cPanel, if you don't know what's Plesk, it's just like cPanel. It offers a easier use also for some other requirements in your server or any other work in your server. It's such in cPanel, cPanel costs $22 per month. So they will increase the price of your host. And we can just choose the 32 gigabytes plan, which is $6. And it's comparison to Cloudways, it's $7 less. And if you need some additional features, just we'll just deploy. Installation just took less time. We just click here on the server. And once we have to wait for a little bit so that it's properly set. Sends a message. Your connection is not private. We just want to exit. Here we can just check. It's giving that notice that it's just starting cloning. So we will have to wait. We can go back here. A user and password. Okay, so the setup of Plesk is done. We can just add our domain here. We'll have to set up first the DNS records. Or just click update here. We have to copy the IP address added here on Cloudflare in this case. Set the proxy as DNS only. And I'll take a little bit some seconds or minutes. And we can go here to the certificates to do the proper certificate installation. Here is a let's encrypt. It says that it's already installed. We can go back here to website and domains. Here in WordPress Toolkit, you don't have WordPress sites connected, so let's install WordPress. Let's set an easier password.
and we have it here. We can just click login. And we have the WordPress environment. So now let's test. And it's taking less time. Half of the time, actually. Let's install Elementor. We don't have any other pre installed plugin, so let's go here to pages, do also the home page. I'll just add the same template. Elementor Canvas, and then I will just publish. So we will have the exact same page here. We will have to go to Appearance, Customize. And then home page settings to set up the home page. And as we can see, we have the same basic page. So now let's see again with GT metrics if we can test first for this website. Let's go here. Also, I'll just in meanwhile, open here. Okay, it's now running. Let's remember they have already the other plugin and really good loading times without having a proper optimization. Of course, let's go back to here to set up the DNS proxy status. Cloudflare. Have to run again the tests. Wait for a while. This one is without Cloudflare, so I will have to run again. But as you can see, even without the proxy of Cloudflare, so I will just wait a bit to run the test until Cloudflare is properly set up. But as you can see in way less minutes in comparison it takes less time but what i think matters is performance so at first we have almost the exact same website therefore here it's showing better numbers Let's run again. See here, too. Error loading. The page isn't redirecting properly. So I'll have to wait. So we'll have to set up here the full strict. On Cloudflare to set up the avoid the uh, too many redirections let's run again here with CRT and even with Cloudflare we're getting 
in comparison to directly to Cloudways. 646. And 663. So it's very minimal difference. Also, the cache plugin might be also the uh, an important factor. The one that it's already pre-installed on on Cloudways to have a large contentful paint. But as you can see, it's almost the same performance. It's minimum. I will just have the screen shot of both so that we can actually see and compare both. But in terms of performance, it's basically really good numbers for both of them. We are having a 371 for first contentful paint in the Cloudways. And in Vulture, we're having 463. So here, yes, we have already the impact of the pre-catch, pre-installed plugin. But the numbers are really, really good for both of them. So it's a matter of own decision if choosing between Vulture or Cloudways. I do think that there's like not much that difference in terms of total loading times and performance. Personally, I changed due to the lower price and getting also really good results. So also almost the, the same results for, for almost the same plan. So I hope that this video helped you. If you have some more questions, comments, don't hesitate to write them. Thanks for watching.